Hello, my name is Melinda Williams, peer review manager with the Journals Program in the American Psychological Association, and I'm going to show you how to mark an article for press release in Editorial Manager, or EM. We are logged into EM as Sarah, an editor for this journal, and we are on her main menu. From here I need to access the manuscript summary page for the manuscript that I want to mark for press release. In this example, I'll go into Sarah's new assignments queue, but I could just as easily go in via any of the queues that display. I'll click on the new assignments link, and from here I'm taken to a new screen. If you've done a previous training with me, you may recall that I like to give names to things and I call this the manuscript summary page because it gives me some summary data about the manuscript like title and author etc. In this case the manuscript summary page is displaying two manuscripts not just one. Each row is a separate manuscript. But the manuscript summary page doesn't give me all the details about the manuscript. However, there is this details action link on the left hand side in my list of possible actions and it is there that all of the other information about the manuscript resides. I mention this because the details link is also how I access the ability to mark an item for press release. So I will click on the details link and you will see at the top of the window that opens there is a question worthy of press release? If I want to suggest that yes it is I would choose yes from the drop down box and then type in a rationale of any length for why I think this is so in the press release notes. You'll notice on the right here is text that says display press release suggested flag next to a checkbox. EM allows you to, to apply flags as visual markers to describe a characteristic about a manuscript. Once set Whenever you go to the manuscript summary page for a manuscript marked for press release, you will see the flag for that marker. So I will check the box and then click Save and Close at the top of the screen. Now you'll notice this little blue telephone icon next to the details link. That is the visual flag that we have chosen to note an item that has been marked for press release. This flag will travel with the manuscript throughout the system. In this example now, both manuscripts have been marked for press release because both have the flag. And that's all there is to marking an item for press release. Once you've done your part, if the manuscript is accepted for publication, APA will retrieve your note about your press release and make it and the manuscript available to the Public Affairs Office for them to, to determine whether they will do a press release. And there is also a Journal's Outreach Initiative that supports scientist-to-scientist -scientist communications about particular manuscripts. A couple of notes about press release. First, the ability to do this is possible at any stage of production, and it is available anywhere you can access the details link as an action item. In this example, I clicked on the new assignments queue to get to the manuscript summary page, but I could have accessed the manuscript from any queue that the manuscript resides in. For more information about the different work cues you see here, please watch the Introduction to Main Menu video which discusses this in detail. Second, marking an item for press release can be done by any editor user with the permissions to do so. The editor of the journal determines who will have this capability. I strongly encourage you to use this tool that's available to you. If you have any difficulties or questions about this process, please contact me at the email address being displayed. Thank you.